Rodrigo Worley is a new Nebraska Extension Cropping System Specialist located at the West Central Research and Extension Center in North Platte. Originally from Brazil, Rodrigo came to the U.S. for an internship and recently finished his Ph.D. from the University of Nebraska. We talked with him last week at the center about his ongoing research there, including a look at how weed control efforts could be having spillover effects on soybean performance. Herbicide resistant weeds have become a major concern uh, in soybean and corn management uh, in Nebraska. For many years we were using glyphosate as our primary herbicide option, uh, but because of the occurrence of this herbicide resistant weeds, we're now recommending growers to start using more and more uh, soil applied herbicides that have residual activity. The problem there is that we haven't done a whole lot of studies uh, looking at variety response uh, to this herbicide. So this is uh, what we're doing here now. We're testing the response of 22 commonly used varieties varieties across the Midwest to two different uh, soil applied herbicides. And what happens there, oftentimes we do see some uh, injury early in the season, especially if you have low organic matter, if solar con soil conditions are a little cooler, and then if you get a uh, good amount of precipitation right at emergence time, you know, sometimes you see some injury. And our question is, is that injury going to result, your, is going to reduce your yield potential at the end of the season? So this is exactly what we are investigating here. One of the other research topics you're looking at is the use of cover crops in a corn wheat fallow rotation. Why do people want to use them and also what are they concerned about if they use them? Uh, that's correct. So that's the project we're going to be uh, starting this uh, fall here. There are some concerns about including uh, cover crops in this part of the state. Uh, water is the you know major limiting factor here and sometimes if you add those cover crops growers are concerned that you know, those cover crops are going to be uptaking the water that was supposed to be available for the subsequent crop there. So what we're going to be doing here, we're going to be planting different uh, species of cover crops. We're going to have legumes, we're going to have grass, brassicas. And what we want to do, we want to plant them right after the wheat harvest. And we want to see whether we get some weed suppression and we want to see whether those can help us, you know, scavenging some of the nutrients from the soil. But then the, the major question that we're asking is, are those cover crops going to impact the corn yield uh, next year? Because if they are, growers are not likely to adopt it. But if we find, you know, cover crops that are well adapted and that are not going to, you know, change the yield of your corn, there's a, a higher likelihood that growers may uh, adopt those. And finally, one of the things you're looking at as well is using alternative, I guess we could say, crops. Uh, tell me why you might want to look at that. Uh, that's correct. Uh, so. Field peas has, you know, has gained a lot of attention uh, over the years. There is a team of researchers and educators that are looking into incorporating field peas as part of that uh, corn wheat fallow rotation strategy. So perhaps putting that field peas, uh, you know, early uh, in the spring before you plant your wheat uh, in the fall, there in the summer, in the fall. And the reason there is going to add another source of revenue there. So we're doing some agronomic as well as some economic research to see whether there's a good feed for field peas. Uh, you know, we hopefully there there will be some investment uh, return to the investment there, and we hope that a feud pea there, if properly managed, will not impact uh, the yield of the subsequent wheat crop.